In this video, we are going to show you how you can sell a used Fronius inverter to another customer. Please note, there are two use cases that we want to show you today. First use case is you sell your house to another customer that buys the whole house, including the Fronius inverter and therefore the solar web system. In this case, it is suitable to just change the owner of the solar web PV system. Therefore, you can just change the owner in your solar web system directly. And how you can do this, we have an extra how-to video prepared for you. And you can find the video in the video description of this video. For the second case, we assume that you want to sell a used inverter to another person. So without the whole house, without the whole solar web system, you only want to sell the used inverter. In this case, you need to configure some things directly in your Fonio Solar Web account. And how this happens, I want to show you directly in the web interface of Fonio Solar Web. Before selling the used inverter, please log into your existing Solar Web account and go to the point Settings. There you will find the point Components. And here, all you want to do now is to exchange or delete the existing device from your Fronius SolarWeb account. So that means that you can unlock the Fronius inverter for another customer to use. You need to first up delete it from your SolarWeb system. Furthermore, you want to forward the so-called customer password or admin password to the buyer of the Fronius inverter. Therefore, either you have an existing password that you can use, so you can forward this password to the buyer of the inverter. Or on the other side, if you have forgotten the password, you can reset the password directly here under actions in the SolarWeb system. After that, you want to delete the existing inverter and therefore you click on the data sources of the respective Gen24 device, for example, that you want to delete and then you click on the deactivate button. After that, the system will ask you if you really want to delete this device and then it will be deleted from your existing solar web system. First, then you can sell the inverter to another customer because without this step, it's not possible for the buyer to add the new inverter to his new solar web system. So please be very careful to do this step first before selling your inverter. On the other hand side, the buyer of the new PV system, with the help of the customer password, he can now add up the inverter to his existing or new made up PV solar system in SolarWeb. So therefore, all he needs to do is to bring the inverter online and then add a new device. And you can do this always under components and new device and add and now you can change here the data source type. So in our case, we want to add a Gen24 device. Then we put in the serial number of the device as well as the uh, V code. Please note the serial number and the V code you will also find on the data sheet of the inverter. So depending if you are, for example, selling or buying a Verto or a Gen24, please note down the serial number and the V code on the side of the inverter where it's written down on the data sheet. When you now add the new component to your system, it will appear under data sources and there then the inverter will deliver the data directly in your new solar web system. And from then on, you can use the data directly in solar web and you have efficiently brought the new data source online in your system. Please note to finish this process, you also need to grant permission for your installer to this solar web system. So therefore, please click on the point permissions. And then you can also always add a user to your existing PV system by clicking on the add button here. Now we want to add the right. And therefore, all we want to do is to add a right here as a supervisor for this system. After that, choosing supervisor, you can now add the email address of your installment company or installer and add him as a supervisor to your system. After that, the installer can himself reset the so-called technician password on the system with the help of Fronius SOS app. After that, he can do the commissioning of your existing device and start your inverter to grant the operation in the system. 